today we're going to have our first in a series of videos talking about the embedded whiteboard on the Q-Series. And in this video, we're going to talk about the basic whiteboarding tools on the toolbar down here. Uh, we'll talk about all kinds of things as it pertains to object recognition and controlling backgrounds and other sorts of tools uh, that you have in the whiteboard environment. But we're going to stick with the basic stuff today right down here, uh, which includes writing tools and things of that nature. Uh, and one of the things I want to point out too is notice that my background is a darker background because I'm on camera all the time. So I went ahead and I changed that. When you fire up the whiteboard and if you've got it at the default settings, you'll, you'll it'll come up with a white canvas. So I just didn't want you to be confused about that because I'm, I'm on camera a lot. So this is a friendlier color for that. Um, but down here, uh, as I alluded to, we have our basic whiteboarding tools, including the writing tools, which you can recognize because they look like writing tools. One looks like a pencil and the other one looks like a highlighter. And in fact, that's what they are. Uh, in order to change what you want the writing tool to be in terms of color and thickness, touch it once to activate the tool, touch it a second time to bring up the menu. And we can do color and thickness. And I've got a color palette button here. So if I hit that twice, you can get all kinds of fancy with that color palette. So uh, knock yourself out. But I'm going to go ahead and just choose a basic color like that and then close that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is take my thin writing utensil because object recognition, according to its default settings, and yes, we've, we've talked about that in other videos and we'll talk about that uh, also in videos down the road. But uh, the way object recognition works by default is if I have a thin utensil, thin is right. Like so. Or draw or diagram or, or whatever. Uh, and then a thick utensil, such as my finger or the back of the stylus, that works too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and touch, and that means select and move a thing. And that's how it works by default. And then if I want to erase, uh, now I've got an eraser button down there, and I'm going to talk about that, but I don't necessarily, because again of object recognition, I don't necessarily have to touch that button. So palm or fist, I like fist personally, that's what, yeah, that means erase. Okay, so you don't have to touch that eraser button if you don't want to. However, if you do want to have more control over the eraser, because you saw that that was, that erased the whole thing, right? So the segment eraser is there by default, which is basically whatever, whatever that object is, that, that piece on the screen, that whole, that whole piece is going to get, is going to get erased. But if I do this, I'm going to go ahead and draw another circle here. And I'm going to go to that eraser button. I'm going to hit it twice. Okay, now that gives me a choice between that segment eraser or this fine eraser. So I'm going to take my stylus again, and yes, you have more control over that. So if you want more fine control over, oh, that was close enough. If you have more fine control over that, uh, then you can make that happen like so. Uh, I'm a perfectionist, what can I say? So that does give you control over that by hitting that button twice and then choosing the one that you want. But it's the segment eraser by default, that guy right there. Uh, if we just want to get rid of everything, on the screen. We've got a clear screen button right there. It's right next door. It looks like a, a screen with an eraser coming down on it. Hey, do you really want to do that? Yeah, I really want to do that. Hit the clear button and there you go. Um, so writing utensils, and then we have a couple of erasing and clearing tools right there. And then these two buttons here in the middle. So let's take a look at these. Now I've got a button here that looks like a box that has some shapes in it. Probably figure out what happens there. Yep, that's lines and shapes. So I'm going to choose a circle. Let's make that white. Take my stylus and there you go. Nice and easy. If I want to fill it with color, I've got this button that looks a little bit like a bucket. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that and then choose that yellow once again. And then sure enough, yeah, I can fill those with color. And then the lasso button right next door. Now we already know, because uh, I said, that object recognition, how it works by default, is that my finger's a selecting tool, right? So if I touch a thing, I can move a thing, okay? But along with that, if I want to group a couple of things together, that's what this lasso does. So I'm gonna give that a touch to make sure that's active take my stylus. So now that my stylus is no longer a writing utensil, now my stylus becomes a selecting tool and I can circle a group of things like this and group them together into one object. So there you go. I also want to point out while I have this object highlighted that when you do that, when you highlight an object, whether it's digital ink or a shape or whatever, on the screen like this, then a submenu comes up. And this allows you to change the properties of that object, like changing the color or making it go away entirely or whatever. Uh, so I just want to point out that that's what that menu does. So we have the basic tools, the writing tools, lines and shapes, the selector, the eraser, and the clear screen. Last but not least, if I did something and I didn't mean to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear this. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. 
I totally did, but let's pretend, let's pretend that I didn't. I've got this button down here that looks like an arrow going whoosh, that way. Hey, that means undo. So I can fix my mistake because I didn't mean to do that. Oh, but, oh no, you know, I really meant to do that. So I'm going to redo. There you go. So yeah, so you do have undo and redo down there on the toolbar. So that's a look at the basic toolbar uh, for the embedded whiteboard on the Q-Series. Stay tuned for more videos discussing the panel's embedded whiteboard.